Hey, welcome back everyone. Previously, we looked at the Boolean or the bool variable type. A bool variable is a variable that's either storing true or false, and the, the variable type is just true or false. And um, we also looked at comparison operators. A comparison operator compares strings or numerical data with each other. So you can compare a string with another string to find out, for example, if they are equal to one another or not equal to one another. Or you can compare uh, uh, numerical data to find out if one variable is greater than another variable. And at the end of this uh, comparison operation, or you know, when you execute a comparison operation, you get a boolean result you get a you know either a true or false so now we're going to continue this discussion and we're going to look at boolean operators we can actually perform operations on boolean variables so let's have a look at how we would do such a thing all right first thing i'm going to just use this uh, editor as uh, some notes all right and so these are going to be boolean boolean operators and the first operator that we have is the not operation. Now, I already have it uh, stored in the variable, or it's stored in memory, excuse me, the, the variable test. Test is equal to true. So here it is, test, hit enter, it's true. I can say something like not space test. And you'll see the not lights up in blue or a different color. So that's a key word in Python. So I don't want to... Uh, call any variables or functions or anything as as not because again that means something very specific to Python. So if I say not test, that evaluates to false. In other words, it negates the boolean value. So the test is storing the boolean value true. Not true is then false. Uh, just to give you another example, if I say uh, test equals false, right? So now now the variable test is storing the value false and if I say not test uh, then I get true All right uh, and then um, you know we can have several different types of boolean operators let's look at another one uh, we can have the and operator right so for example I can say um, let's, let me clear this clear this Maybe I have true, something that's storing true and true. So if I have two variables and they're, they're both equal to true, that evaluates to true. But if I have something like true and false, that evaluates to false. False and false would evaluate to false as well. So, so what, we, what we see here with the and operation is that um, when you and two things together, they both have to be true in order to get a true result. If just one is false, then the result is false. Now, kind of the you know the other, maybe the opposite of that. I, I guess opposite's a bad word, but the other um, operator that we want to look at here is or. So let's let's try or. So true or true. That would give us a true. And what do you think true or false would give us? Pause the video if you want to think about it. But if we if we execute that command, we get true. And we could do, of course, false or true would give us true. And false or false, what do you think that's going to give us? Well, that gives us false. So the, the OR logic, or the, the OR operator, returns true if at least one of your arguments is true. But if they're both false, then it returns false. And, you know, that lines up with, you know, in, in English, what we take OR and AND to mean. Now, the cool thing with this, I'm going to clear this again, is that we can combine these ideas with the uh, previous video where we learned the comparison operators. So, for example, I'm going to put parentheses around this. You might not have to, but if I'm not sure, I put parentheses. So, I'm going to say 3 equals 4, okay, and um, maybe 5 is less than 6. And before I hit enter, think about what how that would evaluate. 
you know, the, the steps that the computer has to do to evaluate this. So f the first thing that we're going to do, or the first thing that the computer does, is evaluates, because it's in parentheses, 3 equals to 4. And so that gives us false, because 3 is clearly not equal to 4. So I have f false and is 5 less than 6? Yes. So it evaluates the uh, the left side of the and, and then it evaluates the right side of the and. So I have false and true, and we just said that false and true makes false. So let's enter, and we get false. Now if I change this to say 4 equals 4, and 5 is less than 6, right? What would what would we get in that case? What do you think? We'd get true, because 4 is equal to 4 and 5 is less than 6, so we get true. Now going back up to the first command, 3 equals to 4, and 5 is less than 6, let's change the and to an or. So now remember that only one of those has to be true for me to get a true. So is one of those true? Yes, right? 5 is less than 6. So when I hit enter here, you'll see that I get true. Now if I really want to make this super complex, yeah, yeah right, uh, I'm going to put all of that in parentheses and then I'm going to put not in front of it and a space. There's a, that space is important actually because not is not a function. We're just saying not and then operate on these things. So we already know that the thing in the outermost parentheses uh, evaluates to true, right? That's what we just did. So now when we put a not in front of it, we're going to get false. Well, that makes perfect sense then, right? So you see we can combine these Boolean operators and we can combine uh, the Boolean or the comparison operators and then what we get as a result is a Boolean value. Of course, we can store these in variables as well. So if I had like spam equals, um, how about five? and eggs equals six, uh, maybe bacon equals uh, one, right? I can say something like um, spam is less than eggs, and then or, or maybe, how about and, bacon equals equals one, right? And think about what that's going to give us. With spam equal to five, eggs is less than uh, eggs is six, so spam is less than eggs, so that evaluates to true. And bacon is one, so that evaluates to true. So this whole thing is going to evaluate to true. Nice. All right. So that gives you an idea of how we can use Boolean operators and the comparison operators together. And in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to combine, or you know, we're going to kind of uh, combine a lot of concepts here now. We've got the Boolean, we've got the comparison. We're going to start to write code now that selects you know, different lines depending on how these things evaluate, how these Boolean tests evaluate. If, if, if it evaluates to true, if we have a statement that evaluates to true, then we uh, run some you know, block of code. And if, or maybe if it evaluates to false, we run some other block of code, right? This is where we're getting with this. This is going to be really neat. So I will see you then for if statements.